What would you do if you had an eBay business making over $2 million in sales a year? And just like that, eBay pulls the rug out from underneath you. That might seem like a horror story, but it's real life for Chris Lynn, a.k.a. Daily Refinement on YouTube. I'm sure many of you are familiar with his work. He has been an eBay mentor for quite a long time, has a paid group, has tons of extremely helpful content. But recently, he put a video out saying, hey guys, guess what? I am permanently suspended. And so we're going to break this down a little bit and talk about what this really means for everyone who resells in general, uh, him to an extent, and you, the viewer, because we can learn quite a bit from this and we should learn a lot from this. He says himself in the video, it's a learning experience. There's a few things I want to say. I found some things odd about all of this. There's a few things that I think other people are saying that I think don't make sense. And then how this kind of goes back to you. So firstly, I do think it's kind of odd how eBay asked for invoices and he couldn't provide them. Maybe they wanted manufacturer invoices from Nike or wherever the shoes were from. That's what he means. But an invoice, from my understanding, is just what a, a seller provides. Like, hey, you bought this. Here's your invoice. Uh, so it could just be handwritten even, you know, or made uh, on, on, you know, Google Docs or whatever. And it would say, I bought this shoe from this person. Here's their address. You know, whatever it is. Um, maybe what I lost in the video, because I watched it a few times. I'm not, I'm not a huge follower of his channel, but I've watched his videos. I've talked to him once or twice. Uh, I was just curious as to why, what they wanted in particular that he couldn't provide, because certainly if he wanted to, he could say who he bought the shoes from. Um, maybe he signed an NDA with the shoe seller as well. I know he has an NDA with eBay. I know there's a lot of, of uh, stuff you can't talk about, but I was just curious as to what that totally meant, because uh, I... They either didn't accept his form of invoice because it wasn't from Nike or um, I, I'm just missing something. Secondly, there are a lot of people out there, a few people I see in the comments, I don't know a lot of people, a few people saying, oh, well, now we can't believe anything you say, Chris, because you got banned. And I think maybe going forward, it might be more difficult for him to be an eBay influencer because he's banned off the platform. But certainly, he's proven over the years he can make money. He knows how to make money. So he can be a business mentor in other ways. I mean, there's more ways to sell things than just on eBay. So I think that, that critique is kind of invalid. Um, and especially going back, any videos he's made over the years talking about the values of consistency uh, and having a good inventory system and wholesale and all that stuff, that's still totally valid. Just because he got banned for taking too many risks does not mean that the tenets of what he preaches are wrong. He said himself, no negative feedback, no counterfeit claims. They all got authenticated. So it obviously isn't that risky, you know, and more so what does this mean for us, the regular people? If you sell shoes on eBay, are they going to boot you? Probably not. Are you selling, like he said, $25,000 plus shoes? I mean, he said he sold $1.8 million dollars uh, and the shoes were $25,000 plus. So what is that? 18 times 4 is going to be like $72,000, $25,000 shoes. And maybe it was twenty twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 shoes and then $200,000, $10,000 shoes. I don't know the details of it. I don't know his eBay store name. I don't know if the listings are even still up. That's all private. You know, that, that's not what I know. I don't know the information. I'm just saying... If you're not doing that, then I don't think you have to worry about the same consequences that he is facing. That being said, you can be banned. This proves it. You can be banned for anything. He's not, I don't think, from what I saw, technically breaking any rules they have published or on paper. It's He is a casualty of whatever eBay is trying to do to accommodate Nike. Maybe. Or their payment processor. I don't know. It doesn't That doesn't make sense to me that they would view it as a risky sale if there were no chargebacks and there was no claims against the authenticator. Maybe there were that I don't know about. But the way it's being framed as, oh, it's too risky, 
That seems odd to me. It seems more like there's something else going on with Nike being like, hey, stop this. And eBay being like, okay, we want to become the shoe place. We'll stop it for you whenever you want to. Am I, you know, if you know more than me or if Chris, you watch the video, please feel free to comment below with what's going on or what I missed or what I misinterpreted. I just want to hopefully use this to teach people like, hey, nothing is safe. You know, you can mitigate risk to a certain extent. But nothing is ever black and white, totally 100% safe. You can get kicked off of any of these platforms for anything. And that's why you have to diversify the way you make money. And Chris does this. He has YouTube. He has his paid mentorship group. He's not dead in the water, man. He has, he's hit on a, a live stream recently. He still has his suppliers. So maybe he'll transition to wholesale. Maybe he will make his own website called dailyrefinementshops.com or whatever he wants to call it. I don't know. I don't think that he's going to be in trouble financially, but I do think that we have to be aware of this as sellers and know, hey, like um, maybe eBay is going to choose us to be their sacrifice. Maybe Mercari or Amazon is going to screw us over. So always you want to have more than one revenue source and probably more than like four or five especially if you're someone like myself or like Chris or any of the people who resell into YouTube and have other things going on. We're not just resellers. And I don't think that you're just a reseller. A lot of you, at least it's being entrepreneurial in, in the larger sense of the word. Okay. That's all I got. Main takeaways. One, I don't think eBay is the villain in this, although they did kind of screw Chris over Two, I don't think Chris did anything really wrong. And three, those two facts mean that you have to have contingency plans and you have to diversify your income streams. My name is Blake. If you didn't know, I am also an eBay reseller. I do lots of money making things online. And if you like that, you like talking like this, please, I encourage you subscribe. And uh, I will link to Chris's original video below because you should watch that, hear it from his mouth. See you later.